This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Hello, and welcome to an interactive introduction to MATLAB. This screencast will focus on familiarising you with the MATLAB desktop and is the first in six tutorials aimed at helping you understand the basic concepts of MATLAB. The screencast accompanies the main course material, which can be found in the PDF file. If you've watched the Getting Started screencast, which demonstrated how to best use this material, then you should have the PDF file opened and ready to aid your study. Once you have launched MATLAB, you will be presented with what is known as the MATLAB desktop. The new graphical user interface, or GUI, provides an easier point-and-click control of the MATLAB software. We will also look at carrying out simple calculations and look at how to access various help mechanisms within the MATLAB software. You will notice that there are various windows available to you on the standard GUI layout. The main window highlighted here is the command window. It is here we will enter most of the commands we give MATLAB. So now, let's try a few calculations that you might normally complete on your calculator to allow you to get a feel for how MATLAB works. So typing in a simple addition and pressing enter, we get the results displayed in the command window. In the same manner, division, subtraction, multiplication, exponentiation, can all be calculated through this window. We can see that the history of your previous commands and functions are also visible within this window. To the right of the command window is the workspace browser. We will discuss the workspace browser in more detail when we look at variables in a later screencast. But for now, you will notice that there is a variable called ands. This corresponds to the last calculation we performed in the workspace. In this case, it shows a variable of 16, which is the answer to the calculation 4 squared. At the bottom right of the screen is the command history window. It stores a history of all the commands you have entered into the command window. This window allows you to revise a command. You can drag and drop into the command window, you can then either execute as is, or edit and execute with alterations. You can also access the command history by using the up arrow in the command window. Previous commands can then be selected and executed again. Next to the command window is the current folder or the directory browser window. This contains a list of files which are in my current directory folder. When you launch MATLAB, you will see that you have a MATLAB folder created for you. This is where you should store any work you need to save during your MATLAB session. You will also see at the top of the MATLAB desktop that there is a box containing a path to my current directory. If I wanted to change this path, perhaps to find some other files, there are a few mechanisms we can use. I can use the little disclosure triangle to view any of the previous paths I have visited. I can use the up directory button to go from one directory to another, or I can go to a completely different folder. But since most of your work will be completed within your MATLAB work folder, we'll simply stay here for the moment. MATLAB has a few built-in help features which are very useful. If I require help, the first one I go to is called the Help Browser, and you can access that by clicking on its search box above the toolbar. The Help Browser contains help for all MATLAB toolboxes, as well as the core MATLAB product. It's very easy to navigate. For example, if I wanted help on how to perform a square root, I can simply type that into the Help Navigator. It returns a list of the relevant documentation, and looking at this list, I know from experience that I am interested in the square root function, 
which is how to perform a square root function in MATLAB. When I select this, I get the appropriate documentation, it tells me how to use the function, and it also gives me an example. This is the first port of call for help. Returning to the command window, I will show you another option to receive quick help. If you know the name of the command you're interested in, but can't remember how to use it, then help can be available directly through the command window. Typing help, followed by the name of the command, such as square root command, provides me with a brief explanation of how to use it. To recap, in this screencast, we have looked at different areas of the MATLAB desktop, performed some basic calculations in the command window, and we've looked at two of the help mechanisms available to us in MATLAB. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.